record from Molly Huddle. Here we have Molly Huddle who just broke the American record for the one hour run and she looks like she's freezing so let's make this quick. <laughs> I'm very bundled. <laughs> <laughs> Molly what was your goal today and did you hit it? Um, we did hit the goal. We were aiming for 520. If I felt great, I could try and ratchet it down. 
Um, I had um, two women from PC, Kat Roca and Abby Wheeler pacing for the first half, which was great. Um, and then I just kind of tried to hold 80s, which we, which I did. Uh, nothing crazy, but I'm, it's solid enough and we broke the record. So um, someone could, I know a lot of women could probably go out and get that again if they want to, and uh, maybe we can keep lowering it. But it was just a fun challenge during this time that we could do locally. So yeah, we hit the goal and it was fun. Or we can put an asterisk, cold and rainy, yes. our run <laughs> record. It was a little grizzly, yeah. <laughs> Did the weather affect you or were you okay with it? It wasn't too bad. I think it was just warm enough. Um, I kind of forgot it was raining after 30 minutes um, and it wasn't windy. So yeah, we're lucky, you know, it snowed two days ago. So it could have been kind of crazy if we had done it earlier. <laughs> okay, Molly, so my channel is a lot about uh, running psychology and motivation. Was there any kind of mantra, anything that you do in the race to keep yourself on pace? I was definitely just like focusing one lap at a time. So like every lap I was like, just think 80, just think 80. And you know, I'd count to four, get to a mile and reset. Um, and then I actually made the playlist for my race. Oh, you did? And it was all like motivational songs that I've trained to this whole last year. So I feel like that was a good psychological boost. Like the songs just, I tap into workout mode. <laughs> Now, were you doing any kind of workouts or to particular songs you'd speed up and then for others you'd go at a different tempo? Um, I definitely had my favorites in there that I would speed up for. Yeah, but nothing, nothing specific. <laughs> okay, what was the most motivational song in the playlist? I think the most motivational song, my favorite one right now is Rockstar, I think. Yeah. So when that one came on, what, that one came on like in the middle, so it was good. <laughs> it pumped you up and kept yeah, it going? Yeah, it was sagging, so it pumped me up. <laughs> so you felt that you were sagging at some point? Yeah, there were points where I'd run like an 81 and I'd have to kind of pick it back up again. But nothing was too far. We were very um, in range, 79 to 81 every lap, so. Now for your training, I know you've been at this elite game for 15, 20 years now? Long time? Long time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like how do you keep yourself in it? How do you keep up with the training mentally? Or or do you ever get tired of it? I, I do get tired of it. I think one thing we've done well is like, We've always um, had new challenges. So I went from the 5K to the 10K. Then we threw in the half marathon a couple years later. Then we tried the marathon a couple years later. So there's always something new to focus on. Um, for me, that's huge. Um, and the marathon puzzle is what I'm working on now. So um, yeah, as long as I have a learning curve, I stay energized and motivated. Now, are you glad that the Olympics got bumped? I mean, I know it's a serious hassle for a lot of people, but is that good or bad for you in your mind? I think for me, um, it's hard because I'm sort of a like a veteran athlete. So every year is it's harder and harder to hang on. Um, I was going to go through 2022 anyway because uh, Worlds was in Eugene, supposed to be in Eugene that year. Um, but yeah, the, the younger girls get faster and it gets harder to stay competitive. So for me, it probably was a negative, but um, you know, new challenges. I gotta raise, get to the bar that they've raised the, the level of making the team to. <laughs> Any chance you're gonna go after Shelby Houlihan's 5,000 and get it back? <laughs> um, 1420s is amazing. I really don't think I could have done that even 10 years ago. So she can, she probably is gonna have that one for a long time, unless Carissa gets it. but. Um, I would like to get cl close to my 10k PR again. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And one more final question. What do you eat before a race like this and how soon before racing do you eat? Um, usually I eat like a peanut butter and jelly bagel or something and then right before I eat like a picky bar. That's my favorite. Um, two flashman. hours. Yeah, two <laughs> hours before. They sit really well. So. Awesome. Thank you so much and congratulations. It was really inspiring to watch you out yeah, there. It was fun. <laughs> Thanks.